welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl in that. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we coming in with um, Love and, I guess say Love and Hip Hop again. Love <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and Marriage Huntsville. <laughs> All right, coming off of the leg of last week. We got Kimmy still in her feelings a little bit about Melody not coming over there to her bridal shower, which I would feel some kind of way too. That's what girls do. Mm -hmm. Big events, babies, weddings, deaths, we show up and we, we come through. Yeah. So she didn't. And not only did she not show up, she hasn't said skit to anybody nope. about it. Oh, sorry, I missed it. You know, da 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 da. Look, at least she just got a where's whole bunch my gift? She got a whole bunch of uh, ninja excuses. Yeah. Well, I didn't get the invitation. I the RSVP wouldn't let me go um, put the invitation through. But you could have called. Yeah. Y'all good, like good like that. So you should have yeah. known <laughs> that something was either wrong or somebody was in their feelings. And if y'all such good girlfriends, why are you not gonna contact somebody and be like, hey, are we good right now? Because my RSVP seemed like it was retracted a little bit, but she did none of that. Yeah. Now, us viewing the show, we could figure out what was going on. That wasn't an idea setting for her to be. What I'm not mm -hmm. going to do is celebrate love and marriage right now, and my skit is over here all, all fucked up. All messed up. Yep. I want y'all to think my skit is all good, But at perfect, the same but time, no. sometimes you have to put your stuff to the side to support your friends. Hello. Because all the time, life ain't going to deal you the cards you want. And just because you don't get the cards you want don't mean you're going to play the game. That's it. Because at some point, those tables are going to going flip. Going to flip. And exactly. you're going to need your friends. And what if they're going through a bad time where they're just like, bucket. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather, me. before, bef instead of making all the excuses, I'd rather for you to tell me, I don't want to be there. Yeah. Just do that. Be straight. Because Kimmy is that kind of person that's like, come straight at me. Don't don't beat around what's coming. Let me know. But... She didn't do it. She yeah. Didn't show it. But then I kind of understand the dynamic here because I don't know any of their ages. When we do shows, we don't do all that background stuff. I want to watch it blindly like everybody else. Yeah. But learning that Miss Melody is the youngest in the group. And of course, Kimmy, you know, they always make fun of her age being mm -hmm. older. <laughs> Kimmy handles stuff kind of like I have an old spirit. So she handles stuff in a way that I would handle it. And then I have some friends that are my same age that handle stuff just like Melody does. Mm -hmm. So the dynamic sometimes is like this. Yeah, clash. And you're like, but why you just did? Well, you knew that. Just because I know you're going through something, that don't mean that you ain't got to communicate with me. Exactly. So now it's time for them to sit down and come together as a comeback group. Mm -hmm. Because they're going to figure out how much they they're going to pay the host to, to build, build these two houses. Yeah. Are we doing business backwards or what? Yeah, because it's... I well, maybe I must have missed something because I thought all of them... Could That's pull, what my pull, degree is yeah, in. Pooling all their <laughs> money together. They're going to build the houses with their money. And then at the end of the deal, whoever buys the houses, all of them split the profits. Right. But it seemed like they was talking like the Hulks is going to be the only one that's going to profit off, profit off of this. And I was so confused. Yeah. Now I know, you know, just like when you edit in vlogs and videos, you cut some skit out, you cut yeah. the fluff out. So maybe we just got the meat and they eliminated the fluff, but the fluff yeah. was needed in this case because it just seemed like, like we said, we're... It seemed like they were doing charity work because they want to revitalize yeah. this neighborhood and the Hulks were going to profit. Mm -hmm. Now, now if the Hulks is going to be the one to put all the money up or get the loans or however, I don't have if, a problem with If they're going to be doing all the funding, yes, all the profits go to them. And the other two couples, they just did to support the efforts for the community. Right. I'm good with that. But if and if all, that's the case, we yeah, need to know that. Yeah, but if all of them is putting their money up, Everybody should get a cut. And not only their money, they're putting their talents up, they're putting yeah. their expertise up, doing all, yeah. Yeah, so we need to find out if uh, if they doing this, you know, pro bono, or is it supposed to be a deal that they're trying to make a profit off while they're trying to build up their community? I don't know. So, while they're coming together, these are the people that were in attendance. Kimmy, Maurice, Letitia, Martel, and Melody. No more suit. No more suit. And I was confused as heck by this because y'all know this whole time we've been watching this. Marsu has drilled it in our heads so much so that we are submissive to Marsu. <laughs> Marsu says that Letitia's job is to be in the house barefooted pregnant with the kids. But she had a business meeting by herself. But she's at a business meeting by herself. So much so she had to bring the three kids along with. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Now, I understand that this guy has his own business going on. He has to work and everything like that. But don't, if you in a collaborative effort with people, don't you have meetings when you all can collab? Exactly. I was so confused by that. Unless they try to trick us and edit it out just for the show to make more drama so we can watch. Because that, anyway, didn't, that didn't make sense. It made no sense at all. Yeah. But it was cool. And I, it kind of worked for what was about to happen. Because while they're sitting there trying to get the meeting started, of course, Melody and Letitia get into it because Melody has tried to put the fact that she didn't come to this baby shower, I mean, not baby shower, this bridal shower, on the fact that Letitia, Letitia's people messed, messed up. up the stuff. Yeah, somebody and Letitia was, was like, bull skit, bull skit, what you're mm -hmm. not going to do is put this on me and my people. So they got a little friction going on back and forth. So much so that Letitia walked up out the meeting. She said, I'm not going to do this. I'm well, going. I'm going home. I ain't got time for this. Say it wasn't for Maurice. She would have been gone. Yeah. yeah. So then Martel, he gets in there. And um, they're all like, you know, okay, this is what we have in place here. And the people that we're going to get to build the house, they charge $75 a square foot. And, da -da -da. and already Maurice was like, hold on, bruh, bruh, bruh. I know that's how y'all handle business with the hopes. But why don't we go out and get some estimates? Yeah. Let the best person win and get the contract. Yeah. And Martel was like, there is no other best price. We are the best, best price. price. But, uh, but we don't know that though. Right. Yeah. So then Maurice asked, the, well, it might not have been Maurice. So don't quote me. But somebody asked, what are you all going to profit at the end of this? The host said none of your God darn business. See, that's when I would have walked yeah. out. Because what we're not going to do here, we're not going to play these games with no money around here. And what you're not going to do is everything that I try to say that you need to explore as a way of maybe getting better pricing, this, that, and the third. You tell me no because you have it set in stone what you want to make because that's making me think that your bottom line is going to start to be affected if you're not going the way that you want to go. Yeah. If we have some input in it, then your bottom line is going to get cut. Not saying that's how it is, but that's how it looks. Yeah, so we need that part filled in to find out how this funding is happening. So that's pretty much the mystery, unless we missed it. Yeah. And it's possible. And and I'm glad you said that because coming off of the, was it episode one, technically episode yeah, the, number one, yeah. we watched it again, and we actually saw something that we had totally missed when it came to that 48 acres in the mew, mm -hmm. that Marsu... Found the land, did all of that, and he also found the funding. financing. Yeah, the funding for the land, yeah. So, we all kind of was like, well, if the Hulks were paying for it, maybe that's why they went ahead and sealed the deal. And, you know, they were going to do everything on the back end. No, they flat out stole that from money for them. Pretty much. Because if they didn't fund it themselves, they, they took that man's funding resource, mm -hmm. the land, all of that crazy to me so yeah so now that we have melody it's more metal melody and Letitia really into it this episode mm -hmm. Kimmy kind of is like me I see it for what it is I like you I buck with you when I need to but I don't feel no kind of way either way I'm just gonna tell you how I feel and whether you accept it or not I still see what I yeah, see I'm and good. I don't care and I'm good because at the <laughs> end of the day I'm not you and I don't care. Mm -hmm. So that's how Kimmy is reacting to all of this. But Letitia is kind of like, wait a minute. What is going on here? So Melody actually did kind of see a little error in her ways. Um, of Just how she bit. handled things <laughs> at that table. So she decided that she was going to invite the two ladies out to this, this bougie place, like they call it, to go and get um, some massages. Some massages. And they were like, okay, now, come yeah, through. Let's go and do this. This is how we yeah. do it. And then, I don't uh, even think they were into that massage it, 10 it minutes. Went to, it went to hell fast. It went to hell in a handbasket. Fast. Now we got to get a little bit of background of how these people actually met. It seems like the men were all friends, business partners, or they just rubbed shoulders in the business. Yeah. Then the ladies kind of fell into position by default of always having to be around the men. So they became friends. And Melody used to be the bougie, 
fun, fun for him. Yeah. It used to be like, oh yeah, you know, she a little special. She got a little extra spice to her, but mm -hmm. she cool. You know, her nose won't looking down on people. Yeah, it was more he, like, ah, see when the picture, they out there turning up. Yeah, they look blind. Uh huh. Yep. And now they were like, basically, when you leveled up. You leveled up and your nose went up and you started looking down on people. And that's really how they were trying to say it without mm -hmm. saying it to her. Mm -hmm. And Melody didn't see it like that. She was like, I'm the same, I'm the same, same, same person. person that I always was. And I'm sitting here like, yeah. after a person has gone through what you've gone through, whether or not you want to admit it or not, you're never going to be that same person. That girl has been through a hurt that yeah. is undescribable. Exactly. So now, not only... Is your marital relationship forever altered in a way that you move differently? Your friendships are going to be the same way as well. Mm -hmm. And Melody has not recognized that throughout all of this, she has changed a little bit. She's yeah. really guarded. And how she guards herself is she boosts herself up. Mm -hmm. A little higher and a little higher, but it makes the people around Herself her feel, and, and her marriage. feel a little lower. Mm -hmm. And that's all they were trying to get her to recognize. And she was like, I am not bougie. I hate that y'all think that I'm like this. <laughs> and what they were like, they were like, we just want our old friend back. Yeah. We just want the person that's just chill, fun, fun loving. Exactly. And we're not saying that you're not that person, but you always are like, uh, let's go to this event. We can rub shoulders. And everything well, ain't an opportunity for business. business. Yeah. Sometimes you got to learn to cut that shit off. We got to have fun. We yeah. got to have that fun. And that's the power of that inner circle. It's like the inner circle is the one to tell you that your breath stink. Yeah. Because the outer circle eventually is going to find out that your breath stink. Yeah. And they're going to talk about you behind your back. But your friend will but be like. But your inner circle will come with you head on be like your breath stink. Go brush your teeth. Yeah. You... And then we can go out before everybody else say something to you. Yeah. Because that's when your feelings really going to get hurt when the when, outside. When there. Yeah. So when your inner circle tell you it's going to hurt your feelings. But you know it's coming from a good place. They love me. They appreciate. So that's what they were trying to tell you. You bougie, I, like Kimmy told her, I don't mind you being bougie. Be, do do you own that? Own that skit. She's not being a hundred percent honest with her friends about the details. Which you don't necessarily have to get the details, but the state of where you are, at least be vulnerable with your friends. And say my marriage is jacked up right now and I'm working on it. Not even jacked up. We're in a very vulnerable place right now. Exactly. Pray for us. Yeah. Keep us encouraged. So let's go ahead with these men. The men are sitting there, right, and they're very concerned that Martel is kind of taking this marital thing not as seriously as, as he should. Yeah. yeah. Not to say that he's playing around with it, he's being willy-nilly, but they're asking him, you know, y'all good? He was like, oh, yeah, we're in a good space. Mm -hmm. He was like, you know, they're like, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing? Your anniversary's coming up. It was like, well, Melody said she didn't want to do anything. So I ain't going to do nothing. They was, like, they was like, nah, bro, you got to do something. Say 10 year anniversary. Oh yeah. That's a milestone. That's... Of what she says. You got to do something. You need to do something. And I do like when they have their men talk. They're actually more real with each other than these women are to me. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, look, listen, the offense that you did has been done. What you need to do is forever work towards building that trust with her mm -hmm. and to make sure that she don't ever have to doubt you again. So, I like the way that they have, they're handling this, okay? Yeah. I like the way what Marsu said, if you don't work on your relationship now, mm. you're going to have plenty of time later to think, think about, about it. it. I was like, darn. Why? <laughs> Why the person that we started out hating the most? But he had he have the best advice, man. He be... Sometimes. Yeah, his advice would be on point. He right? Yeah. So, Melody decided that she wants to kind of take Letitia under her wing and to bring her into the business fold a little bit more so she can start rubbing shoulders with some of these people mm -hmm. that she's been rubbing shoulders with. Because from what I've gathered, when they first met up, Letitia was also confided in Melody that she wanted to do more. She wanted to be able to stay brushed up on her skills for her, you know, for her, um, I'm not sure if that's what she went to school for, but she definitely has some footing in real estate and all yeah. that stuff. So she wanted to keep, you know, Keep up the breast. Make sure that everything is on the up and up. Exactly. But her husband doesn't want her to do so. He wants her at the house. But this is a part that I think I missed. I don't know if you missed it or not. 
but they had this agreed upon five year plan. Yeah, we just learned that, that this week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he wants to go out there and hustle, 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 work, grind, grind, grind. Mm -hmm. And I need you to hold down the household mm -hmm. until this youngest baby turns five. Yeah. Now the and baby she's only is three. <laughs> yeah, the baby is three. And now Letitia is like, mm, I want to do something a little differently. Now, if I think that if I had heard that conversation beforehand, I wouldn't have been so hard, hard on, on Marsu. Yeah, because I totally he, understand. Yeah. Yeah. I, we, he's still a chauvinist now. Don't, yeah. don't get that twisted. But we got this plan. Now you want to. You want to. You want to change. The plan. Yeah. And then she said she went with the plan. Because he, she was being submissive. He was like, nah, you ain't that submissive. He said, you submissive, but you not that submissive. So now we have to rethink this whole thing that, yeah, he's a chauvinist, but at the same time, we this can is, see she that being she... being blindsided with this. Yeah, and yeah. we can see that she still does have some input yeah. on what's being agreed upon in that household. So it's yeah. not like my way, no way. This was an agreed upon arrangement. Yeah. And now she wants to change it. Now, does she have the right to change her mind? Yes. Mm -hmm. But like he said, you want me to change from what I'm doing and take care of these kids while you go out there and rub shoulders with these people Melody has. But you just told me today. So this is what I'm going to need her to do. Listen, your husband is the kind of person that you have to massage him into stuff. I can see now that he loves you enough that he bends. Yeah. But he still has to have a level of control, control. Mm -hmm. in the bending. So yeah. you need to massage him into this. Look, you may have to tell Melody, you know what, not this event. Because I'm going to need about a week and a half mm -hmm. to work on this here man of mine. Yeah. So that we can eh, to make sure that everything goes smoothly in the household. Because you know that's what he's going to bring up. Yeah. The kids ain't being taken care of. Exactly. And this, that, and the third. Because he want to see a plan that's going to fit their five-year plan. Switch. I don't know what the five year plan is. Right. We're gonna find and out where they what, are in the five year plan. Yeah, where they at? Because like I guess like he said, how are you gonna be able to get out and hustle and take care of the kids at the same time? But she said she can do it. I I'm trying to figure out how she gonna do it unless she gonna do everything from home. But uh, to me, when you in real estate, you got to go out and you got to be You got to be out. You got to go to the office. You got to go to training. So it's a lot of stuff that comes with that. Yeah. Unless and you plan on taking and putting the kids in daycare or getting a nanny. And he ain't going for that because that ain't part of the plan. So I know he ain't going for it. But what tripped me out was when she left him at home with them kids. He was lost. See, my suit, <laughs> I've, I've been trying to give you credit. <laughs> and, and, and I kind of. I, I'm, I've been trying to work with you, Marsu. You ain't the kind of man that I'd ever go for, but you were perfect for her. So, yep. anywho, how you ain't know that your son was allergic to peanuts now? <laughs> you up in the house ready to kill that boy with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I think I think that was smoking mirrors. I knew it. Because I'm pretty sure his wife told him that the son, yeah, I think that was just smoking mirrors. To, and this to was get, your meal. Yeah, that was smoking mirrors. I don't, I don't believe that. The kids totally played you. Played them good. Because that's yep. what kids do. Mm -hmm. They find the weakest link. And maybe yep. I shouldn't say that because if you're watching this, you're going to feel some kind of way that a woman will call you the weakest link. But in this instance, you the weakest link when it comes to taking care of kids. They Them played, kids yeah, played, played the hell out of you. They yeah, didn't we want, did it. We did yeah. it. Where we did it. They didn't want <laughs> nothing that you knew how to cook. Yep. They wanted pancakes. <laughs> they knew you ain't know how to make no goddamn pancakes. What they were hoping that you would do is, can, can we go to McDonald's, please? Mm -hmm. That's what they really were hoping that you would do. Yeah. That was funny as heck to me. So when Letitia came back home, of course, the house was a wreck. You know, this, that, and the third. And I said... Mr. Marsu, the person that can't stand to step in the kitchen because that's where a woman's supposed to be. He was up in there. He was balling them eggs and grease. Yep. <laughs> but he was trying. He tried, though. He tried. I, I, get, I, try. I, I get that to you, bro. So the house was a wreck when she came home and she laid it down on him. And that's when we learned about their arrangement of the five-year five plan. And he was like, uh, I don't want you to let your dreams die. But at the same time, we, we agreed this plan that this, this is plan. what we're going to do. Yeah. And then we will reassess where we are. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you'll be able to do And I said, okay, now this sounds this, better. This makes a whole lot of sense now. Yeah. 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 So, so we apologize, uh, uh, Marcy. Yeah. yeah. We this week. Yeah, this week. Uh, we didn't have all the information to make an intelligent decision on our uh, verdict. 
Yeah. But yeah. But, but I appreciate you being a man with a plan because there's a lot of brothers out here, man, they ain't got no plan for their family. You just you just living by the day. They just hoping that things gonna happen. So and I they want them that. women to submit. Like, yeah, submit, submit to, to what? what? You ain't got a vision or plan. Yeah, so you, you can't expect a woman to follow ditch. something. You ain't even know where the hell you going. Yeah. So So now that we've got a bigger picture of it. Yeah, so I, I, I can much respect. I can respect. see when he says stuff, why he says it the way yeah. that he says it. So Because this has been what we we've agreed upon and from knowing that i'm pretty sure it's a plan probably to put them in a better spot than they are now yeah so that maybe he don't have to be out there hustling the way that he hustling right now so he just gonna hustle for five years and then probably maybe pull back and we travel or whatever so i hope that they kind of insert in there what that five-year plan is yeah and maybe so, where they are within the five-year yeah. plan because when we first came in here we did realize that he used to work with martell yeah and now they they don't work together. Is that where they were like he you know his business. He, he's building his own, and you know yeah. those first five years are critical. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why he's so hard. So yeah, it's, it's a lot going on. Yeah. So this episode didn't give us a whole lot, but it gave us a whole lot to reevaluate a lot. Mm -hmm. So next week I'm excited about what's gonna happen because yeah, it, it, yeah. Mr. Martell might be in the doghouse. And, and I was and, and before we leave, I'm gonna put this in here. Uh, Letitia used a wrong example to try to get her away to say, well, Melanie told me that they balanced three kids and they got business oh, successful. And Marcel was like, I am not going to take no advice from Melanie and Martell. He got a whole girlfriend on the side. So why I'm going to take advice from them? He said, before I submit to this plan, you're going to become a halt. I said, well, darn. But it all makes sense. How are you going to reference somebody that's, that is... It's working, but not fully working. Yeah. Because he ain't trying to be a man to commit infidelity because y'all stuff ain't working. So I understand him. Yeah, because I probably would have said the same thing to you. Be like, like, oh, you can't take no advice from, from him now? right now. This kid is jacked up. But, I, but like I said, I told you, I said, I think that they will receive their advice even better if they were more transparent and don't mm -hmm. make like everything is perfect. Be like, right. yeah. We balanced the kids, we balanced the business, and this is how we did it. But this is where we went wrong to cause the infidelity. This is what happened. We was out there grinding too much, not spending time with each other because we was trying to hustle to get that paper. So, but if y'all do this, don't forget about each other. Get the right. bread, but don't forget about each other. Don't forget about the romance. Don't forget about what brought y'all together. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then that will maybe be like, okay, my... Okay, this can work for my man. Because yeah. to be honest, the way I'm looking at it, Marsu is so afraid that something is going to happen to his marriage that sometimes I think he just mm -hmm. is like this. No, uh uh. And then any signs of, look, uh, Martell and Melody, mm mm, mm mm. And, and, then, and then Martell right said it happened for over a year. <laughs> and he has valid points. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, yeah. Masu, I'm with you this week. Yeah, I'm with you, bro. I understand. Straight, I understand. except for when you try to get that baby that peanut butter jazz sandwich. Yeah. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.